Hi, I'm Anne from madamsaw.com. In this video I'll show you how to make a yoga mat bag. Here's my version. So it's a long round bag with a long strap. You can wear it around your body, cross body bag, and it has a zipper. There's lining and it fits one mat perfectly. So, if you're interested, stay tuned or go have a look at my blog post on madamsaw.com. To make this bag, you don't need to copy a pattern. Just cut the following pieces out of your main fabric and out of your lining. You need two rectangular pieces of 28 to 9 inch and two circles with a diameter of 7 inch. And you will also need a strap. If you want to assemble the strap yourself, you have to cut an extra strip of 5 to 35 inch. To draw the circle, use a piece of cord with a loop at the end. Use the cord to measure half the diameter. This is your radius. Push the cord down at the center of where the circle will be and slide your marker into the loop at the other end of the cord. Holding the cord steady at the center of your circle, use the pen to draw the circle. And then you can use a smaller rotary cutter to cut the curved lines. For the strap, press the seams of the long edges of the strip one inch to the inside. Pin down with some glass head pins, fold in half and match up the pressed edges. Now top stitch down both long sides. To be sure those straight lines are nice and clean, use an edge foot or a quilt foot with guide to sew along the edges. Get a 30 inch regular zipper. Pin the right side of your zipper edges to the right side of the outer fabric, the coil facing inward. Stitch along the coil with a zipper foot. Repeat the same steps with the other edge of your zipper. Now you can start pinning the right side of the lining to the wrong side of the zipper edge. Coil facing inwards and then sew through the zipper ribbon, the lining and the outer fabric to attach the lining to the zipper. Before top stitching down both sides of the zipper, you have to press the fabric down and if your zipper is a little shorter than the fabric pieces, you can add a little, wrap a little piece of fabric around both zipper ends and sandwich the zipper end in between the outer and the inner fabric. So fold the two ends in and grab the zipper end pin down and then top stitch along with the zipper edge and inner and outer fabric. Now top stitch down both sides of the zipper, use your zipper foot again to stay close to the coil and stitch through both the outer and the inner fabric. This way your fabric will not get stuck in your zipper when you use it. Now put the two outer fabric panels together, right sides facing and the two lining pieces and stitch down the long end, so the end that is opposite the zipper. 
Position the strap ends over the zipper ends, align the raw edges, and pin the edge to the main and the inner fabric and stay stitch both ends. Grab two circles, one lining and one outer fabric, put them together, pin the right sides together, pin every inch or more and adjust your pins until you get it completely right. Just sew inside the stay stitch so it doesn't show. Trim off any excess fabric and repeat these steps for the other side. And now for the last step, you finish off the edges of the circle with your serger. So, now your bag's ready. With the... Edges and everything. 